well, a guy is extremely short on topsoil, and I hate buying dirt, but I guess I'm going to have to. But I have added a few things. I cleaned out the dirt out of this bed. I've got, I think I've got 30. Let's count. I've got one, two, three, or 36 beefsteak tomato seeds in here. All these are pole beans. And you got two sunflower, and I've got six cucumber and six zucchini going. I should have got this started a long time ago, but you know, always, always running behind. I'm gonna do some more pole beans. I just wanted to plant some in here and see if they'd come up. Uh, and I'm debating: do I want to do another bed here or what? I don't know. Oh, yeah. Also, I got a bag here of onions. I'm gonna try and I bought a few starter potatoes here I've got uh, one two three four I think I got five in here which I've never grown potatoes I don't know if that's enough so maybe I'll get some more but what I was gonna do get some soil <coughs> I'm gonna take my 50 gallon drum here and put some soil on the bottom of it and put the potatoes in here and just kind of let it grow up I wish I had uh, a taller barrel that wouldn't cut but it is what it is so if you just need a cheap and loyal cordless drill I got this thing I don't know where I can't remember now either Amazon or Walmart I think I spent 30 bucks for this and two batteries and a charger as you all have seen I've done everything with this black and decker drill now it ain't the most powerful thing in the world but it will get the job done at a fraction of the cost of Makita and DeWalt, Milwaukee, all those other big name brands. You know, it just don't take a real big drill bit, but like I said, if you need to get like a hole saw that mounts in your chuck and you can do like one and a half inch wide or two inch wide, uh, like holes in the wall or a two by four for electric or something like that, it does just fine at a fraction of the cost yeah i think it'd be plenty don't you all i think so, so now I'll flip this over and you fall over and i'm trying to figure out about the, about the, the best place that i can put this i'm thinking about putting it right in front of my table that way it kind of catches the morning sun uh maybe put it here i don't know um uh, yeah, I think in front of the table would be about the best spot. And I'll have to maybe build a little frame for it. That way it's sitting level and not angled going downhill. And we got more storms coming. Don't look too bad over here, but it's building up over here and coming this way. But, so I don't think this is going to look too bad right here. I think I need, I need to take my T-post out of the ground and get it out of the way. Tomorrow, I guess I'll go to Home Depot and get some of the rebarb so I can start covering up this hot mess. Uh, and I need to move these logs. Let's see, what else can I do? Oh, yeah, I need to unload my truck. And one more thing, if anybody's interested in the Toyota Sequoia, drop me a line for $7,500, and it can be yours, because I, I really do need a truck. You know, this is kind of an impulse buy couldn't find a truck but i found this it was almost as close as a truck but it's just too nice and i don't want to mess it up man uh it's really good but yeah i need an old beater truck like something from the 1970s is what i need so i bought four bags of this raised bed soil from miracle grow expensive af nine dollars a bag really so that's what i'm gonna put in my bucket i might put two bags in here to start and set my potatoes in it and then use this for something else and one bag it is i think one bag would be plenty for right now until the potatoes actually start rooting i try to get some that already had i think what they call the chits not the shits the chits you know the little green roots that come out of the top and uh, i'm not going to cut them or nothing i'm just going to put all five of them in here and see how they do and I'm not gonna water it either because I got a feeling it's gonna rain like crazy and uh, I'll just see how they do <sighs> look at the little seed potatoes I guess I should got about eight or so but I just got five 
Okay, it looks like they're got some sprouts on them. And I guess I, I'm gonna sit him right in the middle. I don't even know if I'm supposed to bury him all the way. <laughs> oh, mate, I, I don't know. I guess I need to do some googling. Well, you ever have one of those days where you just don't give a shit? <laughs> Today is that day. I just last couple days I've really been on struggle bus trying to get motivated on doing stuff. I don't know what's into me, man. I just I don't, I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna try to push through. So. I'm getting pretty tired of looking at these anchors, which they really ain't worth crap anyway. The water's always so wet. I mean, they're, they're not going to hold nothing, but for the sake of doing stuff, I think I'm going to unconnect this strap and just shoot it down in the ground as far as I can. That way I can still get this bolt through that strap. Will it do anything? Probably not, but at least it won't look like it's not doing nothing, I guess. So let me get this bolt off. And that was noisy and fun. I had to bend this this uh, strap out and make it go through here. Yeah, that was fun. Lots of fun. So now I guess what I'm going to do is try to screw this into the ground. I guess about here. Who knows? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> I really don't give a shit. I really don't give a shit. If it's in the ground, it makes me happy. So this is my little handle. And I do believe, let's see, I'm going to put this son of a bit right here. There we go. It's in the ground a little bit. Is it really in the ground? I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it is, but it's not. Because every, like, half inch I go, I feel a rock. And it just seems like it's pushing the dirt up. But, I guess, I mean, I mean, it's better than a zero, I guess, and it don't look all floppy and loose, so, this is going to not work, but it looks like it works, so I'm good with that. See, this is the problem, um, I'm not guessing this, this, uh, damn it, I can't think of my words, this strap here is long enough because I've got a sinking suspicion this is probably supposed to go all the way down to the ground you know where this is like touching the dirt but I just don't have enough strap so this is basically all I can go from here to here and the more I tighten it it just pulls it out of the ground like it ain't nothing so there's really no sense even effing with it I mean, at least it'll look okay. <laughs> it won't be all saggy, but it ain't it ain't holding nothing or securing nothing down. So, next up is I'm gonna cut back all this old insulation. That way, it's not all hanging down and looking like horse shit. And uh, I got some insulation down here that's just getting held down or held up by some poles because it's got all saturated from the moisture just coming up from the ground, and it's falling down. So. That was a fail. Waste of time, waste of money. Story of my life. So, let me get up here and clean some of this crap out. Hopefully I don't run into another beehive like I did last year. But, that was kind of cool because I got to see some beehive, you know. Cool. Hey, is this a true story? <laughs> of course it is, dillweed. I got all that shitty insulation out from underneath the front of the trailer. It's all hanging down and just soaked with moisture. I just get rid of it. So what I'm thinking about doing, I was thinking about making a complete 2x4 frame over here in the front of the trailer to have, you know, the metal to screw onto. The more I get to looking at it and seeing somebody, or I guess when they built the trailer, they used these one bys to attach up here, which kind of pinch, pinches the insulation where it won't come out. Excuse me. Okay, I get it. But do I really want to take all that time and pulling, excuse me again, all that stuff out? No, I don't. And then I'd have to use a whole lot of 2x4 making a frame. And I don't have that much 2x4. And this metal is pretty rigid standing on its end like this. So what I might do, which I'm probably going to do, 
And I got bug guy on me. Ugh. And it's probably a snail or something non-savory. Um, see this trim line right here, okay? It, it's kind of, it's right below where this old trim piece was. Well, not trim line, but, you know, where the, the metal's formed. I'm not using this stuff because it's old and it's broken, and I just don't want to mess with it. So what I'm thinking about doing is taking my metal and maybe putting it right up to that line. And I know I'm, I'm not being really exact right here. I just want to show you guys. What is that goop? Ugh. <laughs> being a big girl. Um, take this metal and set it like this, okay? And just screw it right to the front of the trailer. That way I've already got a board up here. I ain't going to use that wood. And then I can make a semi-frame on this back corner and just keep the metal going down and somehow attach it to the ground. I'm trying to do this without using a bunch of wood because I don't have a lot and I'm not spending all that money for two, treated two by fours. Well, everything was going good. I was getting everything cleaned out and I was starting to make some cuts, you know, get the metal ready. And my brand new tool that I bought just decided to, I, I don't guess you call it blow up, but it just unscrewed on me and came totally apart. And all the little gears are, there's one gear that's missing in action that came out, flew some god awful place. So, I can't even get this one piece of metal finished. Of course, I got it cut, but I need to do some filing. But I got one piece of metal cut, but I can't hang it because all of a sudden this storm came out of no damn place. And <laughs> I'm without a cutting tool. Oh my god. Well, I guess I'm gonna wash the rain. Ain't nothing else to do. Goodness, on the period of about 15 minutes. I bet it's dropped about 12, maybe 15 degrees. It's chilly out here now. And it was nice and comfortable. I knew trying to do this underpinning was going to suck. Oh well. Just more muddy weather. Are we going to hear some thunder? I've seen some lightning. Oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Well, till the next video. See ya.